Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the Axie Infinity February update. We get origin updates, land updates, we're talking a bit of RON tokens. Stick around, we might go over some season 20 stuff at the end of the video. Slap the subscribe button if you like these videos. It really helps out the channel with the YouTube algorithms and it helps us grow. Please, please. Also, before we get into it, I'm a guy in my basement trading cute cartoons on the internet, okay? I really have no clue what I'm doing. This is not financial advice. And if you follow me, you're downright crazy. So stop it, do your own research. Now let's get right into it. First, Origins. This is the tease I like right here. They say, can you feel it? Yes, I can feel it right now. Plenty of leaks and info and out there. Tease me with it. <laughs> I can feel this. I can feel everything. <laughs> There's an excitement, enthusiastic, deliberate energy emerging within the Axie Infinity ecosystem, and I feel it. I feel it. I'm so excited for Origins to stop, to drop. I can't even tell you. Like, I can't even speak right now. You hear that? Like, I'm excited for Origins. Uh, they say the pace is picking up at the Sky Mavis team. Uh, I think they've doubled their team to over 100 in a short few months. It seems like the team's getting acclimated, and they're really starting to roll out the updates. Uh, huge shout out to the new team members getting vocal, Phil and Quinn. We see you out there. You guys are making great strides, keeping the public informed, including us in your thoughts. It's been very insightful uh, to read through both your tweets, the articles you guys have written. Uh, it's been amazing. For those that missed the last Origins leak, there's new art, new cards coming, no turns, holding energy back. I'm excited for the new game update to come. I think there's some new original gameplay coming, and as a gamer, I can't wait to check it all out. We can watch a really quick clip here of some of the new gameplay they have. You can see here an Axie shooting, some type of energy, some targeting happening. Oh no! Oh no! I cannot wait to be playing. I'm excited for the new game to come out. I want to be clear though. I want to be very, very clear about this. The drop of Origins in March does not fix SLP and there will be no economic earnings in Origin at first as things are tested and tweaked for the first two to three seasons. I don't expect the economic changes to come into play until the end of 2022, in my opinion. And if it comes any sooner, that's awesome, but I don't expect it until the end of the year. I think the team is making the right moves to do what they can in the meantime, and I'm happy the communication with players, investors, and the public is much improved lately. Uh, in this update, they give us the story of Olek, one of the free-to-play axes that will be a part of Origin. I like the lore and the art they're starting to show off here, the deep story. I like the free-to-play basic axes as they're a great idea to onboard new players and give people the opportunity to play the game without investing. If a player really likes the game and wants to get competitive and climb the ladder, they can buy axes or join a guild. So I really like how they've thought this through, how we can introduce the game to thousands or millions of new players at a time and how they can play for free, you know, kind of dabble a little bit, get their feet wet and understand how the game works before they go and buy an asset. Um, that they don't know they necessarily want or will like to play. Um, and when the time is right, they can make that purchase and feel confident about it. Land. Project K and land. Let's get into it. Land play development is also in full stride. They've been hard at work over the past month improving the core economic features within the game engine. They've also started a sprint around non-player character mechanics that will include... Oh, uh, that will be included within the initial release. NPCs to fight. Let's go. The community has had the opportunity to ask some great questions. So let's go over these. What are the main changes that needed to be reworked which caused the delay in the re release other than the move to 3D? The delayed release is mostly a byproduct of limited team personnel in 2021. While we now have a new full-time game designer and art director for Project K, it took considerable time to find the right fit for these roles and we only gained more funding in the latter half of the year. However, throughout this recruitment process, we made considerable progress developing many art assets and underlying code base that doesn't need to be remade as we switch towards the new game per uh, perspective. 
I really love this. I understand the team just raised a lot of money in the back half of the last year. The team has grown a lot right now. Um, and they fill in those roles and they're really starting to get working on it. I don't care if land gameplay doesn't come for another year or two. I would like if they would start somehow distributing some AXS and giving liquidity for those that do own land. It was the decision to go from 2D to 3D. Members of the team have always long believed that the game would be best rendered 3D, but most influenced by strategic new hires. We officially made the switch last September. Really love that. Great idea. As soon as they probably brought on that art director, they were like, we're going 3D, right? Can you provide any details about land management? This is very interesting. Very interested about how the economics of land management are going to work. Are we going to need scholars for that? Is, th is that the play for why guilds want to still hold assets, lend them to players so that players can then manage land? Um, and that's kind of how that economy will go for guilds um, as landowners and gameplay on top of it. There'll be multiple phases to Project K's release, but the first test phase will primarily be focused around building up one's land in a town building type game. Hence, will only be available to land owners. This will involve harvesting and trading resources as well as building and upgrading structures. The focus for this initial phase will be validating our base land game systems and making sure it all works with a more limited gamer group. There won't be any token or on-chain gameplay involved, and resources are not planned to be tokenized. The plan is to introduce a new land-based token resource in the future, though. Landowners will be able to use off-chain pawn axes in the game to carry out tax tasks on their land. Land items will not have any of their buffs active in Phase 1, but their updated buffs will be introduced in later phases of land. I'm interested to see how they tokenize land and how people earn a yield off their land. I would love more info on that. More communication there would be sweet. Please tell me what's going on. Will there be battles at all in Land's first version? A major component of the initial gameplay will be selling crafted materials to NPCs who will do battle across land. As we progress in our user testing, we are looking to incorporate AXS into the game loop and landowners will be able to start earning AXS. Okay, there we go. Stay tuned, so you're gonna, aha, okay, 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 I like this. Now it's clicking as we read through. Stay tuned for more information over the days to come. So you're gonna harvest all of these materials off your land and create craft items that will be used by NPCs and eventually throughout the economic loop, you'll receive AXS for completing all those tasks. I really, really like that. The artwork here of the houses and the crops. Looks like we've got some potatoes, maybe carrots. I don't know, it looks like a potato to me. Some wheat, some, is this corn up here? Is this wheat? This is corn actually, this is corn. This is wheat, we got pumpkins. What is this? What is this? What are these? Are these purple tomatoes over here? What do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? I like it. I like it. There's a little food cart. There's a little grill over here. There's an axie hanging out. I'm excited. I'm excited. The end of the video. Here we go into the real juice of it. Season 20 is still being worked on balance in the gameplay. The balance is incredibly complicated to achieve, but Sky Mavis believes that effectively leveraging the community's crowd wisdom as a key strategy going forward. They're using community feedback to inform the design of more sophisticated infrastructure to engage one another. And I think the team has been great with communication on this. Also, I want to give a shout out here. The global tournament kickoff to the season hosted by Loot Squad. Bryson and the Loot Squad are doing some amazing things. They kicked off the season with the Loot Draft Showdown V2. Congratulations for that. Love to keep it up. I love what they're building for the scholars and esports. I can feel the energy shift here. Hopefully things are about to get real interesting. I'm excited for the future to play New or Origins. If you like this video and you made it this far, please give us a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button down below. We're out. Peace.